All right, guys, it's the dude here. Um, I just came across a problem where I tried to, uh, you know, search on Cydia for a tethering toggle, allowing me to access my internet tethering on my iPhone for my iPad quicker without having to, you know, scroll through all the settings and all that shit. Well, in the process of going to Cydia and downloading SB settings toggle, <laughs> I managed to disable the entire internet all together. Like, I wasn't getting internet pages to load, I wasn't getting my tethering, even though tethering worked fine five minutes ago, I installed some shit and didn't read it through Insidia. Well, what had happened here, let me show you my settings. My SP settings looks a little different because I had to edit the layout. Because originally this little blank spot right here had a tethering button. Well, after I updated, or after I downloaded the tethering button, it uh it took everything away. It didn't function properly, and it actually disabled the ability for the tethering to turn on on its own, even through settings. So that was a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, after a good few minutes of freaking out and thinking that I no longer can tether my iPad, <laughs> I uh, I'll show you guys what I did here. Alright, what I had done was I had opened up my settings here. Let's get this thing to focus in. There we go. Opened up settings. As you can see, my personal hotspot is active right now, but that's because I've fixed it already. It's connected with my iPad. I'm just showing you guys how I went about fixing it. So, first I went into general, and then network. Network. Down here to cellular network settings. And you're only going to have this if you're an unlocked phone. I mean, maybe if you download Supreme Preferences, I don't recommend it. It didn't work for me. But Supreme Preferences will give you access to this also. And what you want to do is you want to fill in all this information, which is your APN, your settings for your cellular data, the internet, everything. Everything is going to be in your APN settings through network. So what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of this stuff. You want to click that reset button. And it's going to wipe all this information out and restart your phone. Once it, Don't be nervous. Once it wipes out your information, what you want to do is shut the phone off, turn the phone back on, and you're going to go back into here and all this is going to be blank now. And you're going to put in epc.tmobile.com under cellular data. Your APN will follow the same, epctmobile.com. Underneath it, it gets a little, little more odd. This one is you have to type in http, you know, comma, forward slash, forward slash, mms.eng.t-mobile.com. And then for your MMS proxy, you want 216.155.165.55 semicolon 8080. 5.0 semicolon 8080. And then you're going to use your standard www or HTTP forward slash www.apple.com forward slash MMS. You're going to type that into there under your internet tethering. You're just going to type in epc.tmobile.com, no dash. All right, after all that's said and done, you're going to want to back out. And immediately after you've set all that up, you're going to want to slide to power off. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I've already slid to power off before and restarted it. It takes too long to boot up. I don't want to show all that. Um, after it does reset up, after it reboots, just unlock it, give it a second, go into your settings, go to your personal hotspot, make sure that all your information is still correct. Make sure your password and all that is still in there properly. And then just turn on your personal hotspot. And that's it. And this will fix the issue also if for some reason your personal hotspot wasn't working unless you left this page open. This will fix that so now you can hit your home button, 
even lock it and put it back in your pocket and it's still going to continue to work. Well, that was, uh, that was a little breakdown on how to fix your internet tethering if you've messed it up trying to tweak around in Cydia. Um, I am currently on T-Mobile. They do allow internet tethering to an extent. It's a little throttled, but I, mean, I don't pay anything extra, so it's worth it for me. Um, yeah, again, if you guys have this problem or any other problems, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I can pretty much fix any software issue, even hardware issues that you come across. I can give you the best plan of action to move forward to get your stuff fixed and to get your iPhone back in your hands working. So, that was it for me today, you guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was about it. That should uh, fix your internet tethering, provided you already had internet tethering set up legitimately. And um, short of that, thanks you guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Again, leave any questions you want. I'll make another video. Um, I'm pretty pretty good at responding quickly so um yep i dude the dude i'm all out later